Hello, welcome to Crafty Stampin', and I think we're all working for a making a card today. I'm Linda, um, and I'm excited to be here. I'm hoping I've got everything worked out here today so that we can do this, and um, it'll all work. I've tried a few new things with some cameras, so I'm really excited. So we are going to make a card. We are going to make this card. Um, it is... Uh, with the Eastern Palace Suites bundle that is available right now and it's a really fun card um, and we made it for my with my club group so if you were a part of my club you have seen it um, and it, I thought it, it went over real well it's we use some different colors uh, with the eggplant and the wasabi as well as um, pieces from the the collection the, the DSP the the specialty DSP so while we wait for some people to come on, good morning, Janice. Good morning, Irene. Good to see you guys. So uh, let's just run through a few things. So this is using the Eastern Palace Suites Bundle, which is available now through the end of May, so the 31st. And the Eastern Palace Bundles, right now you can purchase two bundles. Um, you can purchase the starter bundle. And that has the stamp sets, the gold vinyl stickers, uh, the three new in-color stamp pads, and the very vanilla note cards. If you can also step it up, get the Premier Bundle, which adds on the very important uh, Thinlet dies, the Eastern medallions, which we're going to work with. Um, and you get the mini tassels. And instead of the uh, cards and envelopes, the note cards, you're also going to get you're going to get instead the envelopes and the thick cardstock. So it is a really good deal. And anyone who purchases the either bundle from me is also getting the uh, my 26 card tutorial so that you can right out of the bags just start uh, producing. Oh, and of course, my phone's going to ring. Let's hope that's nobody. Okay, so we're going to stop. Um, and. I get a decline. And then we are going to, sorry, it's always something. Um, also, anyone who uh, purchases from me, I have various um, specials going on for May. Um, so if you head over to craftystampin.com, you'll find these specials um, depending on how much you spend. So with that, so let me see. I love the Premier Bundle. Hi, Denise. Hi, Wanda. Michelle. All right. And when Mary. So let's let's get making. So I'm going to switch over to the camera. All right, so here's what we're making. So, and I made this a little while ago, so I, I actually have my notes up so that I can remember how to do it. So I'm starting with a uh, 11 by 4 and a quarter. And I'm not going to fold it right away. I have it scored. I used my score, if you can see in the image. I scored it already, but I'm not going to use that yet. So we're going to use three of the dies from the um, medallions thinlets. And what I have done is I have used Wasi tape to hold those three together. And one, it's going to help me maintain the positioning. I was able to really finagle the positioning of them in between and also keep the lineup of how the the dies work so let's bring over the big shot and let's see get that in camera all right so I will tell you I have absolutely brand new plates here so they're nice and shiny um, FYI they do not stay like that they um, they are meant to take a licking and keep on ticking um, they're the ones this, it's the plates that are meant to um, really take the beating that the dies give out. I'm using my magnetic platform. Let me see. Let me switch out of here. The lighting on this new camera is much more sensitive than the other one was. So let's see. Now the, the thing with this one is you want to make sure you get it lined up, um, centered, in between, in the left to right on the card, as well as yeah, I'd say the upper third. So I'm going to make a, a guess that I'm in the right spot. Yeah, wow, new plates. I know, you guys are special. I pulled out the new plates. So I think that looks good. So we're going to run that through. Scoot you back in the middle. Run that through. And I'm going to run it back. Give it a couple good... Make sure it gets 
good and uh, punched out. So I'll bring this back. So here we go. Let's see. Let's see what the plate looks like. Ah, not too bad, but you can see you can see the images it left in it. Let's move that out of the way. Magnetic platform. Alrighty, there we go. So let me grab. Oh, I thought I was over prepared and had everything in advance. I didn't. So now let me get the brush. The brush does a good job of getting all these little pieces out. So we are getting this particular brush and um, set is discontinued, but they are replacing it with a new configuration. I haven't seen it. I don't know what's different. Um, I'm a smith off center. That's fine. That's good for Facebook Live. You all know what I'm trying to do. Um, okay, so here we've made that cut, and now I'm going to fold the it in half. Hi, Debbie! So now we'll do this. All right, so let me see. Yep, you can see me. All right, so now I'll use the bone folder to tighten that up. So now what I wanted to do is I'm going to take uh, wild wasabi and I'm taking this little floret. Let me see if you, so you can see. Uh, let's get this thing. So we're just going to add little uh, florets along here. So with wild wasabi. Okay, so I, this is just eyeballing it, and it's looking through the clear photopolymer, and go. So you'll find maybe the first one's not as good, but then you get better at it. And I guarantee you, if you're not live on Facebook, you'll do a better job. And also, because I usually, I like to put my head right over my projects and you can't really do that on Facebook Live because then you can't see because then I'm in the way of the camera and all you see is my head which is not usually a good thing but the fun thing with this set is it has lots of these little extras that you can add outside inside lots of little bits so there is the just adding the wild wasabi let me see that. There we go. Okay, so now I want to make it. So I'm going to take some gold foil and I'm going to take my one inch circle punch. And we all try to maximize some of these papers. Well, my gold foil is that one. So we're going to maximize that. And then I have, I, and also I will have, so that's going to happen is this card's going to be the card on my blog tomorrow morning. So I will have all the um, cut sizes, all the, everything yet so you can recreate this card. So that'll be tomorrow morning. So if you don't worry about having to write anything down or whatever. So now I have a gold one inch that is going to go here. And I'm on the inside of my card. And I have a... Well, what size is this? Wild wasabi, or sorry, elegant eggplant, and it's just three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So what I'm going to do to get this to work, because I'm going to add a little bit of snail on the back of this gold foil, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right in the middle with the sticky side up. I want to get it right where I want it, and then I'm going to go around the sides here and add snail just on the outside of the corners. All right, so I'm going to adjust my middle with the gold. Now I'm going to place the elegant eggplant over it. There we go. So that is what's going to allow the gold to pop through and you can see the purple on the outside. It's what I love so much about these um, dies is that they, they are like windows in the paper. They don't come out. You can make them come out by using circles and um, other dies, but I love how it cuts through the paper and leaves them in. So that's what we're going to do there. So very simply, I'm going to take some of this. This is the gold specialty DSP. It's only got one side and I'm just going to add oops, some snail. We're going to add this down here. All right. So that's all set. Let's set that aside. Now, 
let's see, so here, let me show you. So here I have these two dies, and I'm going to try to make it easier on myself by, let me turn this over. We're, I'm going to try to do, attach them with the wasabi while you watch. So I'm just going to line the two up so they look exactly in the center. I'm going to take some washi tape and put that off. All right, so let's tweak, tweak, tweak. You can never tweak enough. But at some point, you just got to go, that's it, and put it down. All right, there we go. So now... All right, so now that's how I attach the two dies. So here I can make a decision if I want to stamp first and then die cut or if I want to die cut and then stamp. And I think we're going to do stamp then die. So I'm going to pull out my uh, wild wasabi again. And where's this? All right, so we're going to get this outline. And stamp. Boom. Done. And put my ink away. All right. So now the, another good thing is this washi tape er, will help keep my paper in line. So we're going to bring back the big shot and move my card base out of the way. Boom. All right. Oops. I'm moving you a little bit. Okay. There we go. And where'd that magnet platform go? There we go. All right, I got to remove the, where's the trash can? Oh, so I knew there was a few things I was going to forget to do. So thank you for bearing with me. I'm going to use the trash can. Whoops, there we go. And get all the little pieces off. So you can see I got a nice little imprint. My very first imprint on the plate. So we're going to make another one. Add that. Where did the paper go? I'm going to add our paper and now oh, here's the other plate there we go and we're gonna run this through sorry for a little bit of glare hi Catherine hi Karen welcome wasabi keep thinking of sushi I know and we're so close to lunch over here on the East Coast it is making me a bit hungry but so do most of the Stampin' Up colors you know watermelon wonder mint macaroon I'm always hungry when I'm uh, working with Stampin' Up stuff so now we just gotta peel this off slowly. Okay. Oops. Come on, Wassy. Let go. And it kind of doesn't matter in the middle because I am. There we go. So we'll remove that. Pop this out. Let's go the wrong way. Oh! There we go. Okay. There we go. One away. Slowly, slowly, slowly. All right, did I move away? Sorry, now I pick up cheap washi tape craft store and clearance bin. Can use it for this purpose. Yeah, yes. There we go. All right, so before, this is one's got little wings. It kind of pops up. But before I do that, I want to add a little more. So now I am pulling out my elegant eggplant. I don't know if you can see this little stamp. You'll see it better when I stamp it. So let's see how well I can do. Let me make sure I get you in. And ah, not bad. I need to pull in a smidge. Okay. These are stamps you like to like take a practice run on. Hi, Vicky. How are you? Okay. There's another one, and one more. Boom. All right. So there is our center. So now what I'm going to do, so let's stamp one more time. So now I'm Tina. All right. Enjoy today on my scrap in the wild wasabi, making ourselves hungry for lunch. All right. So now I want to punch that out with my one inch punch. You see it. There we go. All right. Get it centered. All right, put those away. So now I want to, I'm going to build this up. So what I did in advance, so you don't have to watch me die cut all day, was um, out of the layered circles, 
my layered circles, what I did was I, I numbered all of mine. Whoops. So I can see when I look at them, of course, if I put them back right, I can see them. So I wrote on them one, two, three, four. So I know chronologically they're going up. I know that grab the next one up or next one down in size. Um, but then also I can make a little note. I use, and then the, the scallops, I did letters, A, B, C. So I can make a note for myself. I, I use 7G for that card. Um, so for this one, we're using eight, which is, I think, the smallest circle in this bunch. And I just cut out an eggplant out of the eight in the layered circles dies. So I've got the one inch stamped punch out of very vanilla. I've got the number eight in elegant eggplant. And now I'm taking the one and one quarter inch um, circle punch. And it's going to punch out a wild wasabi. So now we're just going to layer these three up. Boom, boom, once I find my snail that I could. Here we go. So let's see. What did I do? All right. I always have to look. Where did I put the dimensionals? So we're going to add the wasabi, add the eggplant, and now I'm going to put my greeting on top. All right. And then I want the dimensional. Uh, put that on the back. Boom. And then, so I want this to go with the points kind of be north south. So I'm going to use my fingernail though and kind of bend these up a little bit so that they add a bit of dimension to this. Oops, I put my card in front of everybody. I like the idea of the numbers and the letters. It makes it a lot easier, especially you got a whole bunch and they're not staying where they are. You're like, I just need the bigger one. Which one's just bigger than this other one? So it makes that a little easier. All right, so I think I like, I'm going to do top to bottom this way. So I'm just going to add that to the center. I'm going to bring my card base back. Did I add it? Nope, looks like it went on. So now I'm just going to add snail to the back. And boom, boom, done. Let's see how'd I do compared to my original. Pretty good? All right. So let me bring you back here to me. Hello, welcome back. So I hope you liked that. Like I said, this card will be the featured card on my blog tomorrow, and I will have a nice little list of all the products and direction so that you can follow along easily. I'll also put a copy of this video up for you so if you need to watch it again. And I thank everybody for coming on today. 38 people, that's awesome. Oh, I'm really excited. So thank you very much. Again, check out my blog. The Eastern Palace um, bundles, deals are available there. You can shop on my blog. You can uh, flip over there. Computer browser. I'll take you over there. So if you head over to my blog, I have product shares. I get you can order your catalogs, see my May bundles, and click shop Stampin' Up. It'll take you straight to my Stampin' Up store. So I want to thank everybody again for stopping by, and we'll be back soon. Thank you. Oh, hold on. I got to figure out where to say stop streaming. End video. <laughs>